I think if you look at today's announcement and kind of reading between the tea leaves as a, a recovering M&A reporter, this would be a way to say, here's what we're doing for now. We're going to focus on you know, rearranging our capital allocation plan. We're going to let this new CEO, who's moving, by the way, all the way from California part of, to part New York City Andrew's to point. take yeah. this job. That's we're gonna, right. Yeah, we're going to let him get acclimated here. So I think this essentially says we are not for sale, at least in the short term, as we try and turn things around, which makes sense. You know, the, the stock had been so depressed, no one wants to sell at the levels that it was currently trading. But I would argue that given today's trading action, I don't know how much of that is necessarily a short squeeze per se, but the stock is up 32%, 33% right now. It would indicate that the market doesn't necessarily need to see a sale. They like the changes that were announced this morning. Yeah. At least, again, in the short term. Sure, no doubt. Les, thanks. That's Leslie Picker following the money. Josh, give me a quick comment on how you see this uh, after this latest bout of news. I think most of what you're seeing is a short squeeze. I think, uh, according to Ortex, about 14% of the float was short. If you look at dark pool uh, short activity, it's way higher. And going into, as of the, the closed Friday, uh, they say short sellers were already sitting on 250 million in losses from those levels. And then you get this big spike today. Um, I think this is much more indicative of people just coming out of this thing uh, at a small loss or maybe a big gain if they were long-term investment shorts. I don't feel like you have like hedge funds and mutual funds being like, I'm super bullish on this new CEO of one of the worst managed companies in the market. I just don't think that's the case. So uh, the company's smart. They're saying we have a plan B. We don't have to sell by making these moves. I agree with that. And then the question is like, how gully is Amazon or Nike? I don't believe the rumors that Apple has any interest. They don't do deals. So that's that's basically what you have to bet on if you're staying long through the end of today and beyond. Okay.